Hey, what's going on? It's Nick, Indie Gamer News. Time to do... I'm not sure if this is about to be a series or a let's look at, but this game is called Doors. And it was sent to me by the developer and publisher whose name is Kelvin Weibel. And uh, this is coming out February 12th as I record this. This is February 8th. And this is a indie strategy puzzle game. I actually haven't done anything with it yet. Um, I think it's a logic-based game. Um... And the only thing I've done so far is test my audio, so let's let's take a look at doors. Alright, movement with the Wazdas. Oh shit, I missed that. Control S to save. Alright. Let's just uh save right now. Mouse to aim. That's it. Alright. Every door leads to either bacon or death. Well, bacon will eventually lead to death, so I guess that this game is pointless at in the end. On every door is a statement, it may be true, it may be false. Okay. I actually really like the atmosphere already. It's very nice looking. If one statement on a door is true, then all statements on that door are true. If one statement on a door is false, then all statements on that door are false. I don't think I was ever very good at these kind of word games, so let's see how I do. Can I jump? No, it's just walking. Alright. Bacon is wonderful. I mean, that is subjective. But I would say most people who aren't Jewish or Muslim or Hindu would agree. I, I will agree. Bacon is wonderful. Okay, game save. So it looks like, alright, you automatically get a game save when you, um, when you go through a door correctly. Oh, here we go. Alright. I think this is just going to be walking through doors. Exactly one door is correct. Okay. The door... This door leads to bacon. The other door leads to death. One of these doors leads to bacon. The other leads to death. Alright. So this is definitely the true one. It's definitely true that one of these leads to death. And one leads to bacon. And this one says this one leads to bacon. So I don't believe that one. Because this, this is a true statement for sure. Because I was already told before that each door leads to bacon or death. And this one says one of these doors leads to... It's got to be this one. Right? Alright, let's... I, it did not save, though. Or did I did I screw it up? This, this is the same. No, this is not the same. Alright. What do you got for me, doors? What do you got for me? Okay. The correct door leads to bacon. The incorrect door leads to death. I mean, that's the true one. This door leads to death. The other door leads to bacon. Wait, shit. Oh, no. The, it's got to be this one still. The correct door leads to bacon. We, we know that, right? All right. Still good. We're still good. But this hasn't been very serious logic yet. Oh, man. All right. Let me turn down my volume over here a little bit. All right. So, bacon leads to happiness. This door leads to bacon. The other door leads to death. Both doors are correct. Well, we know that can't be true. And bacon does lead to happiness, right? At least... Oh, new rules. At least one door is correct. So, that means both doors could be correct. Can I go behind this? I can. All right. New rules. At least one door is correct. Bacon leads to happiness. This door leads to bacon. The other door leads to death. I wonder if it's still the same rules, though, if one thing is true. So I guess both must be true. But it, No, but it says bacon does not lead to happiness. So it's still gonna be this one. I hope. Alright. And we're on a dock. Both doors lead to death. This door leads to bacon. Either both doors are correct, or both doors are incorrect. Each door leads to either bacon or death. Either both doors are correct, or both doors are incorrect. What's my recourse? I'm going to save right here. It's possible that both doors can lead to death, right? Because if I choose an incorrect door later on, 
I could die. So this door could lead to death. I'm going to I'm going to take this one. Okay. All right. So two doors are correct. One leads to bacon. The other two lead to death. Two doors are correct. The red door leads to bacon. The green door leads to bacon. The red door leads to death. All right, so if this says, green says red has bacon, green says, I'm sorry, red says green has bacon, blue says red has death. I'm going to say, that the answer is the green door then? Two doors are correct. One leads to bacon, the other two lean to death. Oh man, my brain is gonna melt. I don't think I'm that good at this shit. The green door leads to bacon. Okay. The red door leads to bacon. So you, you know that one of these two are incorrect. Because they can't, they cannot both be correct. And then the red door leads to death. So I would assume that the green door is the correct one. Okay. Three doors again. All right. At least one door is correct. The correct doors lead to bacon. The blue door is incorrect. The red door is incorrect. All three doors are correct. At least one door is correct. At least one door is correct. All right, well, all three doors are correct cannot be correct. Because this says the red door is incorrect, so that makes that statement false. And this makes that statement false. So the blue door is incorrect. This one is saying the red door is correct. So by process of elimination... Oh god. If the blue door is incorrect... Then that makes the red door correct. But if the red door is correct... Then the blue door can't be correct. Oh shit. At least one door is correct. So, that means the blue door is correct. Right? Oh shit, I think I'm getting these. I think. Because do you just insta-die if you pick the wrong door? I'm not really sure. Alright. This door leads to death. Okay, exactly two doors are correct. One door leads to bacon, the others lead to death. Okay, the incorrect door leads to bacon. That can't be correct, right? The green door leads to bacon. This door leads to death. Exactly two doors are correct. But this can't be correct. The incorrect door does not lead to bacon. We know that. I'm still not thinking of this right. The green door leads to bacon. The incorrect door leads. The incorrect door leads to bacon. The green door leads to bacon. All right, so exactly two doors are correct. This door leads to death is correct, and the green door leads to bacon is correct, and I want to go to bacon. Nope. All right, so I know that I've been doing it at least right this whole time. That's the first time I died. Died. 
<laughs> uh, I like this game. This is funny. All right, so... So I still have to go through the correct door then, right? The the one where the statement is true? So I, I'm, it must be the blue one then, right? Okay. Okay. I'm getting like... I'm getting muddled up on the rules now. At least one door is correct. Exactly three doors are correct. And we know one of those. This door leads to bacon. Okay. At least two doors are correct. The green door leads to death. So these two discount each other. One is one is wrong. Either the red or the green are wrong. Fewer than three doors are correct. This door leads to bacon. Fewer than three, which means one. This is ex oh, hold on. This is exactly three doors are correct. This is fewer than three doors are correct. So these discount each other. But at least one door is correct. So it's either three or one. And this, oh, this is at least two doors are correct. If this is untrue, then it's not true that at least two doors are correct. <laughs> this door leads to bacon. All right, I believe this one. I think I believe B. Because we know that these two are like discounting each other, and then this one here discounts this one and this one. Mm, I think it's this one. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh no. Oh no. Brain fuckery is happening. I didn't expect there to be brain fuckery. Alright. I think you guys get the idea of this. I think for now I'm just going to put up one episode. If you guys like this, I'll keep going through it. But I don't really want to ruin it. Exactly one door is correct. One leads to bacon, the other leads to death. You will choose this door. The door that you will choose leads to death. It's not necessarily true. Exactly one door is correct. One leads to bacon. The other leads to death. If the door that I choose leads to... I mean, that is... counterintuitive with the statement that we know is true. This one right here. So I will choose this door. All right, maybe one more. I, I like I, I like this. It's fun. Exactly one door is correct. One leads to bacon. The others lead to death. You will choose this door. The red door is correct. You will not choose this door. The door that you will choose leads to bacon. Exactly one door is correct. Okay. So which one is the one that's lying? If this says you will not choose this door, and I choose the door, it automatically makes that incorrect. Right? The red door is correct. Stop it. Stop sending me messages. Hold on. Let me, let me mute this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm ruining everything. Alright. So you will not choose this door. If I choose that door, that makes it incorrect. I mean, I can I can choose that door. I can do it. The door that you will choose leads to bacon. It's not necessarily... Oh, wait. 
if I'm to continue on, then the door that I choose will lead to bacon. The red door is correct. I can't verify that. Exactly. I mean, how can the red door know that I'll choose it? I think it's blue. Because just by simply not choosing red, I negate yellow and red. And by choosing blue, I negate yellow, red, and green. Oh no. If I choose blue though, I make green correct. But if I walk through it, I negate it. This is confusing. So it's blue. No! Shit, was it green? But if I fucking walk through green, then it makes it not true. So... If I walk through red, it makes yellow true. Ugh, no. I guess I'm just about to choose every single one. I don't understand. Exactly one door is correct. One leads to bacon, the others lead to death. Yeah, I can't... I'm so confused on this one, so I guess it is you will not... But I don't understand. If it's you will not choose this door, and I choose it, that makes this incorrect. Mm, that one I don't understand. Oh, Jesus. Where am I now? I don't, I don't know what's happened. I don't, I don't see any bacon. Alright. I mean, I can see I'm getting closer to these ridges here, or whatever. Oh, there's actually a turn there. Alright. Oh, now I'm in the Stanley Parable. All right, well, it looks like we got through the first realm of that game, of this game, uh, which is called Doors, and uh, I think we'll cut it off here. Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, hit subscribe if you want to see some more stuff in the future. My name is Nick. This channel is called Indie Gamer News. That was Doors. I will talk to you later. I'll link you down below um, to the Steam page. Have a good one. I'll talk to you later. Bye.